This looks so weird. Hello and welcome back to another outfit recreation. So last time as I did this, I did it with the nanny outfits, but this time we're going for much more different style. So if you have Netflix, you might come across the series Wednesday. And today we're going to recreate Wednesday Adams outfits. Also, I saved the best for last, so be sure to watch till that. And you might as well want to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future outfit recreations. And besides that, let's start the video. Okay, so I gathered all the items and I'm really excited. And I want to start with the outfit that she's wearing in the Wednesday trailer. And that's this one right here. Kind of like a polka dot outfit, but if you zoom in a bit closer, you can see it's not polka dots. It is actually a bit different, but I just kind of went with polka dots because it was much easier to find. And I got this one from Shein. It was kind of similar in its length and in the way that it looked, so that was the closest I could find it. And here is the dress. I mean, we have a bit of a different right here where there's this little bow, but I think I can just put it in the inside so that we don't see it. And the rest is just full of polka dots. The length should also be quite similar. It goes over the knee and it also has like a little bit of those puffy sleeves. So that's why I kind of went with this one. And then we also need this effect with the collar, the white with those two long triangles. Therefore, I also ordered something on Shein and that's this one right here. It's actually not a full blouse, but it's just the top half. It was one of the only colors that goes into a really elongated triangle. So that's why I kind of went with this one. We need a pair of black tights. That's something I already have, so I didn't have to order it. And then for the pair of shoes, I just went with this pair because it is black, kind of has a similar look to it. It's not like too high, so I think they will go quite well. That's basically the first whole outfit. But you know, to actually go with the real vibe of Wednesday, I'm definitely going to put on some makeup, put on my wig that I got, and also put in those two black contact lenses. So, we're going all in, okay? This looks crazy. Hello. <laughs> I actually gave myself an A for the effort. Don't I look like Wednesday Adams? I mean, the dress is on point. I actually put on another blouse underneath just to be sure we have those white ends of the sleeve. So I definitely think I get a 10 out of 10 for this recreation. Look at my makeup, doesn't it look cool? Also, the dress itself is actually beautiful. It is like super flowy and fluffy, like perfect for summer. We do get the illusion a bit of those puffy sleeves. We have this longer collar, which I think is on point. This is so much fun. <laughs> And now I just have to move like her. Like this. Like no expression in the face. Like nothing. I love this so much. It is so much fun. <laughs> now for the second outfit. Basically all of those outfits are kind of themed black, but it is actually fun to try out, right? So here's the outfit and how it's supposed to look like. The main part here is I think the top half with the white black striped cardigan. And I got something really similar, but it's not a cardigan, okay? So it's like a sweater on top. Kinda look the closest in terms of length and the thickness of the stripes. So that's why I went with this one. And I can already tell it actually looks so similar. If we had the buttons in the front, it would be totally the same. But without them, I still think we can wear it. We have the same length of sleeve and the same length of sweater. So I think this is going to look really good. Also, it feels super nice and flexible. So I definitely think we can wear something underneath. And for underneath, I just have this black top in my wardrobe. I didn't order it. That's just something I have. And I thought we can kind of use it. And then for the bottom half, I saw in other pictures that it's more like a fitted pair of black pants. So I also have this one. It is high-waisted and definitely more fitted. So I think this is going to do the job. And for her shoes, I couldn't really find the picture where I see her shoes. But I think in most of her other outfits, she was wearing some loafers. And I didn't really order loafers because I kind of have a pair of loafers, but they have a heel. I still think they're kind of going to complete the look. They're also not like too high, but they kind of have the loafer look. So I think we should use these. Yeah, so that's basically the whole outfit. Let's try it on. Here is the second outfit. Okay, I still think you can kind of tell who I'm supposed to be, right? Even though it's not like a cardigan that you can open it close, I still think it looks quite similar. Nearly the exact replica. Just the buttons are missing. <laughs> And just so you know, it's actually really comfortable. The pants are just a pair of pants that I had lying around. Those buttons might not be that fitting, but I still thought it would kind of go with this outfit. I would kind of give myself like an 8 out of 10. If you look a little bit close, I think there are some details that are missing. 
But I don't think it's that bad. It just looks so much better with having the hair, the makeup, and the contact lenses in. I think I look so close. Interesting though, because I see everything with a black frame around my eyes. <laughs> but I definitely love the fit and I really like the outfit and how everything looks together. I think it's time for the next outfit. Now for the next outfit and that's going to be Wednesday's uniform in her school. I mean, I wouldn't describe it as the most stylish outfit, but I still thought it was quite iconic in the series. So that's why I really wanted to try it out. For the top, we need like a blazer with stripes. So I kind of found something similar on Shein. It definitely has those stripes and I think also in terms of length and the rest, I think it looks quite similar. So here is the item. It might look a bit big on me, but I also think on Wednesday it also looked a bit big. In terms of quality, the fabric feels quite nice. Sadly, we don't have real pockets, but the stripes are really pretty. We have three buttons in the front, the bag and the rest, everything basically just has those stripes and that's the start of our outfit. For the skirt, I just went with a pleated skirt in the same length. Just because I have a black pleated skirt in that length, so I kind of just went with my skirt that I have. I think it's going to work out. For underneath, we then have like a little white blouse and that's also something I have in my wardrobe, so we're going to use that one. We also have like a black tie. I just went with like a little black tie that I have. Mine has little notes on it, but this time of the tie you're not going to see anyway, so that's okay. And then the last part to finish up the outfit is like a little sweater underneath. It's supposed to be a gray knitted sweater with no sleeves underneath. And I got something really similar from Shein that looks basically just like hers. It does have the look with this triangle cutout. So this is going to complete the look. Now we got everything. Let's try it on. Let's go to school. Here's the next outfit. <laughs> So personally, I don't think the blazer fits it like 100%. I still think the outfit is kind of solid, so I would kind of give it like a 7 or 8. The gray sweater underneath is actually perfect. It's like super hot. There were also some scenes where she wasn't wearing the blazer, so here's it without. I personally would never wear this style, it's just like too dark for me and also not fitted at all, right? There's like a lot of loose fitting. The pleated skirt is actually not as bad as I thought it would look like. The blazer could have been a cherry on top, but it's not like 100% perfect. Do I look creepy? I can't tell you how fun it actually is to recreate those outfits. With black contact lenses, the black hair actually fits me much better. Maybe I should change to the dark side. Okay, we got two more outfits left. Be sure to wait till the last one. The next one is going to be this one right here. So the main part here is again another catchy, unique piece. That's basically this white, black, checkered sweater underneath. And I actually found something so similar. Again, this one was from Shein. It is kind of like a crocheted sweater. I also think she's wearing one without the sleeve, so that's why I was looking for one too. And here is basically how it looks. I mean, you can see the difference is here that we have buttons, but maybe we can just flip it around and then we have it like this. So I think that definitely looks similar, especially in terms of fabric, it looks really close. And to go with this, I also have like my white blouse again for underneath. And on top, she's wearing like this cropped jacket. I don't really have a cropped jeans jacket in black. So I just kind of went with like a simple black jacket that I have in my wardrobe. I do think it is a bit cropped. It will definitely complete the look. So I think this is kind of okay. And then for the bottom half, she's wearing like a much more loose pair of jeans. So I kind of went with like a straight leg black pair that I have in my wardrobe. I think it is definitely going to do the job. Everything here should kind of look more oversized, so this is going to be interesting. And then for the shoes again, I just use those loafers because I think they kind of go well. Oh my gosh, this next outfit is actually also really cute. Even though it's not like a jeans jacket, I still think it kind of looks really close to it. So I think I would rate this outfit like a 10. Especially the vest is like on point for me. Does this look cool? <laughs> It's super hot wearing so much layers. I kind of like this fit. I prefer this than the other one. This is so far my second favorite. I think the best was still the first. But we saved the best for last, so it might change. Pants also work out quite well in this outfit. Do I look like her? This is actually super cute. The sweater is pretty. And now, are you ready for the last outfit? 
So one scene in particularly on Wednesday got really viral and that's this dance scene right here. And that's this iconic dance scene that she had. And I just really fell in love with the dress that she was wearing. And I was looking on so many places and I actually found some really nice duplicates on Etsy. So I ordered one of them to actually really copy this iconic dress. So are you ready to take a look with me? Cause that is going to be the last outfit. And action. Let's open it, let's see. So, I can already see a belt and also there's this other half of this belt. So I think she's wearing like both of them together. And then we have the dress. It definitely has quite a lot of volume and I do think it does look really similar to hers. Especially the mesh fabric in the front with the black. It does have quite some volume so that is really nice and it's actually really shiny. I think the most iconic part here is like this black color in combination with this mesh and those standing off sleeves. This is going to look great. I really hope it fits. We have some buttons in the front and there isn't any zipper so I hope this really fits good. Let's try it on. Are you ready? I have a new favorite. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at how flowy it is. So this one doesn't deserve a 10. I think it deserves an 11, a 12. I got this one from Etsy by the way, I'll link it down below. And I think it was around 110 euros. I mean, for this kind of replica, it was worth it. <laughs> I don't know what is oh my gosh this is just exactly the same like from the top to the top it is perfect look at how flowy the bottom is and the fabric is like sparkling sparkling so shiny and also soft like it's totally wearable I don't see a problem in like wearing this daily <laughs> what do you think did I do the recreation good also if you haven't seen it already here's my the nanny outfit recreation you might want to check it out too Feeling it, feeling it. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 